Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know today. What do we have for you Virgo? What sort of messages we have for you? Could you please show important messages for Virgo? We have nostalgia. So someone feels nostalgic about you. Someone here is replay replaying some sort of events from the past. This is a major energy of X. Mm -hmm. Social media. Okay, so someone here is, is, is following you on social media, Virgo. Someone is keeping tabs on you, trying to figure out what you're up to, what's going on in your life. They are following you, watching your stories. They might be even posting something in order to get to, to, to get your attention. We have cycle. The thing is that I'm getting here, Virgo, that you ended certain cycle here with this person. But this energy of nostalgia wants to come back and repeat the cycle with you. Okay. I also seeing you ending um, certain chapters in your life, detaching uh, from specific patterns here, ending past patterns. We have immature, yeah. This is, this is someone who we are connecting here for you, Virgo, with someone who has, who might be quite immature. This is, you know, this Knight of Wands energy player, kind of in and out, hot and cold. I'm getting very strongly here, someone with whom you might have um, history with. This is energy of an ex. This person wants to talk. It wouldn't surprise me that they will contact you from, through, through social media, excuse me. And this is someone who wants to repeat the cycle. This is a past energy, okay? Might be energy of an ex. The problem is that this person has, they are very inconsistent here with this immature card, childish. You might be dealing here with a player. They like playing mind games with this with this energy. We at the bottom of the deck we have clarity. So if there is something that's been playing on your mind here, Virgo, for a very, very long time, or recently, you can expect that um, you will gain certain clarity about this matter. Okay? So clarity it's coming. And it can be in a form of communication, message, outcome, whatever the case might be. Okay, so let's see, Virgo. Let's see what do we have for you. This is nice. We have a Hierophant. We have a Ten of Cups. We have a Three of Cups. Ooh, someone here wants to claim you, Virgo. They want to have relationship with you. You might be dealing with Taurus. Two of Pentacles, we have a Knight of Swords. What else we have? We have an Eight of Pentacles for you, Virgo. I see reconciliation. But you being quite reserved with regards to this particular reconciliation. Wow, someone wants to talk. I need to pick those cards. I'm sorry. Okay, we have a star, we have the Empress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone here wants to heal something with you. I can tell you one thing also. Your work-related situation will look fabulous. There is a chance for promotion for some of you. Virgo with this Empress. We have the Four of Swords and the Devil. Okay, so let's tidy this up for you, Virgo, so you can see. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you might be dealing with Capricorn. I have Aquarius. <laughs> Sorry, I also have Taurus, Gemini and, and Virgo energy as well. Okay. You have someone here who wants to uh, claim you, who wants to have a relationship with you, okay? Hierophant, it's a higher level of commitment. With the Ten of Cups, this person sees you as they happily ever after. With the Three of Cups, you're bringing to this person 
happiness, joy. This is also a card of reconciliation. Someone here is finally realizing that you are or you were the best thing in their life. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles. However, what I'm getting here is that when this person um, make themselves known that they are thinking about you, and I feel they will, big, big time, communication is coming here. This is someone who really wants to be with you. They are having here a wake-up call. They see you as this beautiful empress energy. So very caring, loving, nurturing. Also, they see growth and expansion with you. With the star, mm, they want to heal connection with you, Virgo. This is someone who will tell you that they want to work on this connection, that they want to put more effort, uh, that they want to work things out essentially with you. I'm getting here someone who wants to have family. They have a serious intentions. For some of you, um, you will find out that one of your friend or family member, relative, uh, is pregnant. It will bring happiness and joy. This is very nice energy. You are healing here, Virgo, from this energy. And that's what I'm getting. Overall, when I look at this, at this reading, and this is like a, just an overall energy because I will clarify your cards. I'm getting here that as someone re is realizing that you are the ideal partner. However, this person made a mistake. I feel nine of pentacles. Yeah, they see you doing very well here, Virgo. This is someone who wants to rush in. You're dealing here with someone who has very strong defense mechanism. Very argumentative. Quick temper. very codependent uh, individual they i feel that they created codependency uh, in your connection this is someone who has certain habits and they need to heal i'm getting here virgo someone who 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 did some sort of work with the four of swords they went within and I'm getting here someone who kind of recognized their they patterns, patterns of quite toxic behavior. For some of you, this is someone who has unhealthy habits or who is stuck in their routines and which, which, which might be not the healthiest ones. But the devil shows next to this uh, knight of swords, showing someone who is incredibly stubborn, who always thinks that they are right about something. Okay. It is my way or no way attitude. That kind of energy, very possessive, very controlling, and who is, who has a quite uh, bad temper, I would say, or quick temper. You are healing here from, from this situation. This is someone also who, something happened. I'm getting here an energy that something happened in this person's life and they are recognizing that they made, uh, that they made here a mistake. This is someone who is focused on, on, on healing. However, with this two of pentacles, I'm getting you having choices. For some of you, Virgo, you already met someone and you are dating. And things are looking very nice. And this person is observing you. And they want to reach out. With the two of pentacles, the, the thing is, Virgo, that... Um, 
because you have a history of this individual, for some of you, when they will reach out. Um, I'm getting here that, you know, you might have this moment of nostalgia yourself, you know, feeling nostalgic about them. I need to clarify your cards to see exactly how this story might go. But I'm getting here that you will have choice, okay? You will have choice. Both of those people, of those individual, they, they want to claim you, they want to have here a higher level of commitment with you. They see you as their divine counterpart. They do want to have family with you. They want to stay very long in your, in your life, okay? They want to have a stable relationship with you. But one of them, and this is a person from your past, has been uh, particularly difficult. Quite immature the way they conducted themselves. Very, very argumentative energy. For, uh, with the Four of Swords, I feel that there is a no contact situation or there might have been a no contact situation. However, this person will reach out. Virgo, I need to say, with these cards, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you uh, being incredibly successful when it comes to your work-related situation. This is a success. With the Three of Pentacles, this is acknowledgement, teamwork. Uh, this is achievement. You'll be praised here for your, for your dedication and you being consistent here about something. Star Empress, this is like being on a, in a spotlight. You can expect uh, public recognition from high, higher authorities from your workplace. Even, I'm getting here, Virgo, um, promotion, better money. This is really, really nice. Beautiful energy. But let's see. Virgo, I will now clarify your reading. Okay, so please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. If this reading doesn't resonate, it's absolutely fine. Uh, please check uh, another reading in about three, four days. I'll be posting during this time. Okay, another reading for your sign. This is a collective reading, general reading for your sign, Virgo. So I am aware that it might not fully resonate with you. I wish. It would, but I am aware that it might not. That's the just reality of the matter. Nevertheless, um, please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Also, um, please check your other placements and only if you have a wish, please check the other reading or readings. Okay. This is a collective reading general reading for your sign Virgo for, or your placements as it is a general reading cross watcher you might feel that this is your story okay that this is your reading this is your situation and a Virgo um, for instance might might be involved in it right so so that Virgo is like a main theme throughout this reading or Virgo did something here uh, to you with regards to this particular situation so this is how this message can be read by the cross watcher Okay, so let's clarify the reading, Virgo. So why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant for Virgo? Why the Hierophant for Virgo, please? Thank you. We have a Seven of Wands. We have a Three of Swords. We have a Seven of Swords and we have Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Yes, someone here is, is, is keeping tabs on you here, Virgo. For some of you, this ex, it's your ex-partner, ex-husband, with the Hierophant and the Three of Swords. Uh, um, you might parted your ways. There was a divorce, breakup. Okay. Seven of Wands. Mm. For some of you, you block this person, okay? So please take it how it resonates for your situation. However, with the Three of Swords, this person broke your heart. We are connecting here with someone with whom you might have been in a, in a connection. For some of you, you, you were married to this person or you were in a long-term commitment represented by the Hierophant or there was a plan to be in one. 
However, this person at the end really, really disappointed you. Three of Swords to the Seven of Swords shows that this person was two-faced. They were sneaky. They were lying. They had secrets. They were telling you something else and they were doing completely opposite thing behind your back. Someone who betrayed your trust. With the Three of Swords, this person broke your heart. They, this is an energy of emotional pain, sadness, loss, just massive, huge disappointment. Seven of Wands is showing here, Virgo, is that th because of this person attitude, I feel that you might have blocked them or you're just protecting your energy and you just don't want to deal with them. Also, Seven of Wands is showing that this person pushed you away within time because of their attitudes, because of their lies, because of them being two-faced and sneaky and having secrets. With the Three of Swords, with the Seven of Swords, this person, for some of you, they put you in a third-party situation. They prioritized certain things or people over you and you just had enough and it wouldn't surprise me that for some of you <laughs> you would tell me well i just don't want to hear about them that's that's the energy of seven of wands uh -uh -uh. i'm putting very strong firm ba ba barriers boundaries and i just don't want to hear about this person never ever again it wouldn't surprise me that for some of you you would feel that way with this energy absolutely why because you were very very emotionally available for this person you love this person with the queen of cups this is love. This is someone who is caring, loving, and very nurturing. This is one of the of the aspects of this beautiful Empress. Because Empress, she is the Queen of the Queens. And we have here Queen of Cups. Someone who is emotionally available. And that's what you are giving to this situation. But I'm getting here that this person took your kindness for weakness. And within time, they pushed you away because of their lies. Constant lies. Page of Pentacles. Now they're coming here with some sort of an offer. For some of you, children might be involved. That might be a case. But why are they showing up here in your energy? Because they are thinking. They are thinking to make a move, to reach out, to talk to you. Page of Pentacles also represent um, some sort of form of an offer. But I feel that... For a lot of you, you block this person with the Seven of Wands because you you no longer want to. For you, you might be you know coming from the place it's done, it's done. This person caused me so much emotional upheaval that I just don't want to even think about them. That's what I'm getting. Very, very kind of protective energy. No, I don't want to. I don't. Page of Pentacles also showing that this person is very immature. They don't have really much here to bring to the table. They don't have much to offer. That's why we have this immature energy. Someone here played game and at games with you. They were lying. They didn't want to take a responsibility for their actions. Mm-hmm. Well, they are thinking about you here, Virgo. Why the Ten of Cups? Why the Ten of Cups? Why the Ten of Cups? So we have a Five of Wands. We have a Knight of Pentacles, a Nine of Cups and Knight of of cups at the bottom of the deck we have a wheel of fortune yeah this cycle someone wants to repeat the cycle with you Virgo you might be dealing with the fixed sign so I have Aquarius Scorpio Taurus Leo I'm getting here, Virgo, for some of you, there is a conflict, conflict um, within your family or, some, or, you are con or someone here. There is some sort of conflict with regards to relatives, something to do with the family situation. People are not seeing your, 
your point of view, they are disagreeing, you see something here completely differently than, than someone else, and it's causing some sort of uh, conflict with the five of wands or tension. There might be a tension, okay? Something like that is coming forward. But what I'm getting mostly here is that with the Wheel of Fortune, someone wants to repeat cycle with you. I feel that you were in relationship. I'm getting this energy. It's like a continuation of this energy of this person that you might not want to even, you know, hear about. This individual here, it's seeing now and realizing that you are their wish fulfillment and they want a happily ever after with you with this Nine of Cups. They are coming with, with some sort of, again, offer of affection, love. It's taking a long time for them to come forward. But what is very, very kind of a visible here, that this person is showing up with, in a page and in knights. There is no king, there is no queen. You are showing up in the empress energy. Hmm. It, it's just... Um, I don't feel that this person has here much to offer or that this is something this you just they don't want to meet you halfway something like this there is a lack of compromise from this person's side they would like to have it all without compromising expect some sort of uh, this person will try to kind of um, come across that they do want to apologize or they are sorry, or they want to be given here another chance. But I'm getting here someone who has problem of saying, I am sorry, just like this. They are very good at charming their way and, you know, using their charm. But when it comes to, you know, just 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 using the words i'm sorry could you please forgive me i'm seeing here someone who's very very stubborn and ex expectations something to do with expectations are different for some of you if there is like an ongoing conflict within your family or with regards to some some something to do with relatives you can expect that soon this conflict will be over, okay? With the Nine of Cups and Knight of Cups. Things will just get better and people will make a peace uh, with each other. Something here will manifest very, very nicely to you. And something is destined. This Nine of Cups, it's, it's an energy of of wish fulfillment, of being happy, personal satisfaction. You receive some sort of news here. And I feel that it might be a case for some of you that, I don't know, I'm getting here something like uh, you approach something or something, someone approach you, or you just want something very, very much. And you've tried once and that really disappointed you. Someone here disagreed. However, I feel that you just you 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 didn't give up on it. That's I I know it won't resonate with all of you, but but um, that's someone's story here, and you've tried again, and now it will be successful. Okay, this is very specific, I know, but but you can expect uh, some sort of fulfillment and and personal satisfaction because you didn't give up on something you stood up for yourself okay this person who hurt you emotionally here wants to reconcile with you yeah page page again page oh my gosh we have three of cups clarified by page of cups One more, please. Why the Three of Cups for Virgo? Why the Three of Cups for Virgo? Why the Three of Cups for Virgo? The Moon. This person, right, that we were talking about, 
They want to have it all without putting any effort. Knight of Wands. What I was saying at the beginning, Knight of Wands energy. And that there he is. This person has tendency to confuse you with the moon. They have secrets. They have secrets. And again, they're showing up in a page energy and night energy. We have already three nights when while we're talking about this individual here from your past who, who emotionally hurt you. And we have page of pentacles and we have page of cups. No sign of a king. I'm sorry, we have four knights. You're dealing here with someone who's very immature, very in and out, who has this mentality of, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe this is someone who is refusing to acknowledge that, you know, years go by and they are getting older and they need to settle down. Something like this is coming forward. Someone has 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 problem to acknowledge that that they are no longer uh, I don't know a teenager. Something like this, or this person needs to grow up, or cross watcher, you know, Virgo needs to grow up. Please take it that it resonates, okay? But Virgo, I'm seeing here someone who is very immature and childish who likes playing games this person brought enormous amount of uncertainty doubt and this is someone who has secrets page of cups again it's 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 this is they know how to charm they know how to use their words they know that they might be quite popular with people knight of wands is very attractive but it doesn't have to be even a person who is you know as appearance is very attractive. This is someone who is a charmer, who knows exactly what to say. They have it. They know how to charm their way in, you know, uh, to kind of a, they know how to charm people. But this is someone who's incredibly inconsistent and who has a problem settling down. The thing is that now they are realizing that you were the best thing in their life. And they do, and they would, and they want to settle down with you, but wanting and have intention to do that, to do that doesn't mean that they will do it. And what, when I look at this person's energy, is someone who is inconsistent, who is in and out, hot and cold. When they are interested, they are interested, but 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 this is someone who gets very easily distracted. This person wants to come back here, Virgo. This Knight of Wands. This player. They want to come back. You might be dealing with Pisces. They want to reconcile. I'm getting here, Pisces. <laughs> yeah, you see, because normally Page of Cups. Uh, did I say Pisces? Virgo. You might be dealing with Pisces with the Moon card. I'm getting here someone who, again, who will come forward and who who want to appear that they are sorry but to saying that they are sorry it's a di different story you see because the moon you see how she is keeping a secret page of cups is this card of 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 of, of an apology you know some sort of offer of affection something like this but this person is not saying it. They might try to use a different words, but when it comes to, you know, be, be, you know, to be straightforward and say, I'm sorry, I messed things up. Is it possible for us to reconcile and you give me, to give me another chance? I don't see them making themselves clear. And that's the problem. You're dealing here with someone who is, who is, uh, quite skillful with their words in a sense that um, they are not saying exactly how it is. Therefore, it might be a case that you always been trying, you know, they kind of, I don't know, it's just like a, assuming what they mean. Something like that is coming forward very, very strongly here for someone. This is someone who is giving you impression 
But if you ask them, what do you mean by this? They might say, well, uh, I thought that you know what I, what, what I mean. Oh, I thought that you know what I meant. That's a better grammar. I thought that you know what I meant. Someone who is refusing to all the time to make themselves clear. And they do it on purpose. Because for them, it's then easier to manipulate. Because, for instance, you would say, well, you didn't say that at the time. And, and they, they would say, uh, no, I meant something else. Did I, make, did I make myself clear? No, I didn't. You've assumed. And this is their tactic. This is someone who is, who is operating that way. Because they, again, overall, this is someone who is avoiding responsibility, even being responsible for their own actions and words. This is someone, Virgo, who wants to reconcile with you. They want to come forward here. They want to communicate. But I'm, I'm, what I'm getting is this is someone who can be very charming, but I don't see them bringing enough to the table. Why the two of pentacles? Six of cups. Mm -hmm. They are missing you. This is energy of the past. Six of cups. Temperance. You might be dealing with Sagittarius, Virgo. Ten of Souls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was an ending between the two of you. Yeah. What I'm getting here as a collective, a lot of you, you will, you will, um, you will reject this person because you already there is already someone else in your life. If you haven't met this new person already, then you will soon meet because this is a new beginning in love. This is a fresh new energy. It might be, this is what I was getting with this two of pentacles not clarified by the six of cups, temperance and the 10 of swords. It might be the case that momentarily this person will pull some sort of heartstrings and you will start, you know, thinking about good times. And, you know, when, 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 when you share those good times with each other. But I feel that overall, you will just uh, make yourself very, very clear that what it's done, it's done. I feel that you will tell this person that this person uh, broke your trust. There is a sense of betrayal and you... It might be a case for some of you that this person metaphorically stabbed you in the back, back by entertaining someone else here. Therefore, this moment of, I feel that you will have moment of reflection, moment of, you know, nostalgia and, and kind of thinking about good times. But overall, I see a very balanced and clarity it's coming. And I feel that as soon as this person will start talking, and they will say something, it will be like a light bulb thing. Aha, that kind of aha moment. And you will very, very quickly kind of a, uh, you will stop reminiscing about this nice, nice times that you spent, spent together or memories because temperance is very, very grounding energy. This is, this is someone, temperance representing uh, this attitude of being grounded and being very balanced having certain clarity about a situation or person and we have this ten of swords therefore i feel very strongly uh, for a lot of you you will you will reject this person because you want new you want new and i'm getting here virgo that someone wants to claim you you have relationship if you haven't met this person uh, yet you can expect here that this person is coming and it will be someone who wanted to stay for a very, very long time in your life. They might have epitome this person at the moment, that person from your past, that caused you emotional upheaval, but they are not coming here with much. This is page and night energy. You want something new. You want love, you want equal give take. 
you want someone who will appreciate you this person so far what i can see here is that you you are dealing with someone who is or you are dealing here with someone who is very immature who likes to play mind games and ultimately this person betrayed you they broke your trust and i feel this is what i'm getting that when they will communicate and you start talking or they will reach out or something like this will happen it might be that you might have a moment thinking about them but very quickly it will be like you know you will stand your ground you know very firmly with the temperance you, you will find your balance and you will say well hang on a minute let's not forget what happened between the two of us let's not forget what have you done to me or cross watcher you might say it to virgo and um and i feel that with the ten of swords uh, you will just communicate to this person that it's done it's it's it's, it's over you don't want to give this person another chance because for some of you you've already met someone here with the ace of cups this is like a new love this is new energy or for some of you you are open to new and you just want someone you are heading here towards a new soulmate whom you will meet very very soon you'll meet this, this soulmate very very soon because it's showing up here in your overall energy okay so let's see this eight of pentacles for you virgo eight of pentacles please we have the emperor mm -hmm. ace of cups wow okay We have an Ace of Pentacles, a Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Virgo, you're attracting here your Divine counterpart. Look, we have the Emperor and we have the Empress. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy in one reading. Look, we have an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. You're taking back control here, Virgo. You want new beginning. You want new opportunities with regards to stability. You want someone who wants to put effort and work with regards to love and relationship. And you're attracting this. I don't do reversals. <laughs> it's interesting, though, that actually I cut the deck and this king of wands was uh, upside down wow so this is a message you're attracting here Virgo, someone who is uh, very gentle emotionally available and who is not uh, not a player because king of wands yes he has a tendency he has a tendency to be very charming yes he is um, like a great version of of knight of wands right therefore he might possess a certain amount of stability but he has there is this energy about him that he can be momentarily in and out hot and cold but you, we have here someone who is stable you want to detach from it you no longer want to entertain this energy because this person here we have this queen of cups we had this queen of cups as well so i'm getting here that this person caused you headache it was momentarily i feel it felt like 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 a nightmare this person caused you an anxiety stress worry i feel that you didn't know what to expect from them because they were so chaotic in and out and you gave so much love to this person and so many chances but they took it for granted you're attracting here a new relationship virgo new relationship you might be dealing with aries ace of cups and ace of pentacles this is new opportunity for emotional fulfillment and stability 
with regards to your love related situation someone who wants to put work you divine masculine energy this is someone who you can count on uh, very reliable someone who is emotionally available and not a player I'm getting very strong the um, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy for some of you again this is some sort of big opportunity with regards to work related situation is waiting for you and with this Emperor I'm getting here that you will have a possibility and opportunity to be in a position of authority this is a big energy of of um, promotion big big time so you can expect whatever the case might be uh, you can expect here good fortune <laughs> essentially yeah with regards to your money and your work related situation with this with this emperor but mainly i'm getting here virgo that you are taking back control you are standing up for yourself you know exactly what you want and you want new you want ace of cups and you want ace of pentacles which is a new beginning in love with a new energy with someone else than this individual for a lot for, for some of you of course and also new opportunities when it comes to stability and that's what you're manifesting you will be in a very happy relationship here Virgo you're manifesting new opportunities this is a new beginning and this is something that you truly deserve so why the star why the star for Virgo why the star for Virgo please we have a three of Pentacles Your finances will look good as well six of pentacles okay and eight of swords for six of wands i thought it was four of wands okay so the star is clarified by the three of pentacles six of pentacles and eight of swords you are healing here yeah here's the thing virgo someone wants your attention and the thing is that you are getting lots of attention you are attracting attention okay people are noticing you people want to be around you people want to talk to you people want to ask your advice there is some sort of again public recognition and and i'm getting here you being in the spotlight okay three of pentacles to the six of pentacles uh, to the eight of swords I feel for, for, for a lot of you, 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 you are healing here, you have your eyes on a price, you have a goal. You will achieve this goal. Because this is next to, the star next to the Empress, this is a major energy of fulfillment, growth and expansion. We have a Six of Wands, this is a card of success. However, it's important for you because there will be a choice and I'm getting the same story over and over again here Virgo is that when this person from your past who caused you this emotional upheaval will approach you it's important for you to remember that um, I'm getting here someone who might who might have a tendency to to blocking your blessings something like that it might be important for you to kind of go within and ask yourself when this person was in your life did you have a was your financial situation uh, blossoming you know what I mean was it good or was your relationship with others you know right or you felt that this person was draining you on any level or every level I should have said because I'm getting here Virgo that you have massive opportunity to for some sort of fulfillment but it's important for you to kind of um to think about the past how it was when this person was in your life because what I'm getting here is that this person has uh, 
while I feel that you were in a relationship with them, they hold you back. And at some point it might be a case that this person made you feel stuck. Now you have a chance to be free, in brackets of course, free. And reach for the sky, reach for the star, Virgo. Okay, don't feel that um, that you can't do something because sky is only a limit here. This is a mindset. Therefore, for some of you, you might be feeling, oh, I don't know if it's possible for me to achieve this. I don't know if I should go for it. Go for it. Okay, something here. I'm talking about something that you might be thinking about. Because what I'm getting here as an overall energy is that you have here some sort of blessing coming with the star three of pentacles, six of pentacles. Big energy of um, fulfillment when it comes to when it comes to 3D world, Virgo. So finances, um, career, um, work but you, you know you might feel that uh, I don't know maybe for some of you, you might feel that you are not good enough or that you don't have uh, some sort of experience or whatever the case might be here Virgo this is a mindset eight of swords you can achieve it all and you know sky is only a limit therefore don't let um, I suppose what I want to want what I want to say is don't let any doubt to kind of you know uh, to bury your insight or kind of to 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 put the seed of 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 uncertainty with regards to you achieving something because you you have something you are destined here for success you are manifesting a massive abundance and. Uh, and profits <laughs> gosh this is big we have the empress she represents expansion growth just 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 luxury essentially and dreams come true therefore don't let uh you know any doubt uh, to kind of put the seed of uncertainty that you you know that you might not know if you'll be able to achieve it okay because you will and trust me sky is only a limit you can you can you can achieve so much a lot you have a card of success don't doubt yourself here Virgo because you have everything to be successful to achieve success and spirit wants you to recognize that you are a very powerful being, very powerful. And and fulfillment, it's here. It's 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 it's. I can read these cards. It's there. You'll be very happy, very successful. And people will acknowledge this success. For some of you, it might be a case that you recently, you know, you. You are very successful with regards to something and you might feel that deep inside oh i don't know if i deserve it you know with this eight of swords of course you deserve it because of your hard work your dedication your expert expertise you know something like this it's coming forward here so don't let any doubts to kind of block your expansion, progress and growth because you are here destined to achieve something very, very big and be very successful. Okay. I hope I've explained it well. I don't have a good day today, I must admit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why the Empress spirit? Why the Empress? Oh my gosh, we have an Ace of Swords. We have a King of Wand, sorry, King of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, you have four aces. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers. Amazing. This is absolutely gorgeous. And we have the Chariot. Oh my gosh. Virgo, you have four aces. Look, in this reading. 
This is a major blessing. This is good luck, good fortune, abundance, prosperity, dreams come true. You are entering a wonderful period in your life. You really do. This is so unusual to have four aces in one reading. This is a major blessing because of your hard work, dedication, and you putting yourself first. This is beautiful. It's very, very rare combination of cards to have in one reading. Virgo, you have a... For some of you, you will very soon meet someone. And this is what is all over this reading. Because I'm getting here uh, that you are manifesting your divine counterpart, your soulmate, essentially. Someone will chase you, Virgo. If in the past you were the chaser, someone was a runner, mm -mm, that, that will be completely different with the chariot. Someone, uh, you will, if you haven't met this person already, you will s soon meet someone who will be, uh, who want um, a higher level of commitment with you here, Virgo. And this King of Pentacles, it's someone very stable, someone who means business, very, again, very supportive. Someone who represents stability. And with the lovers, this is like a divinely guided connection with, with the chariot. This person will chase you and they will chase you till, <laughs> until uh, you will give them a chance. And I'm getting, I'm, I'm seeing here marriage within time for some of you, a very, very nice, loving, long-term partnership, relationship, union. But you will soon hear from this person because this Empress is clarified by the Ace of Swords, a King of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Someone here wants to talk, okay? Someone here wants to talk or soon you'll be in touch with, so this is a new energy in touch with this individual they will communicate you will meet up whatever the case might be but uh, there will be a spark like an instant spark between the two of you and what i like about this king of pentacles is the fact that he's showing here as someone who is telling the truth and also who is uh, very creative so this is an energy this is an energy which is bringing stability truth and also creativity but overall you can expect here uh, relationship love you might be dealing with Gemini I also have Cancerian energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well so you might be dealing with another Virgo so it, it, if I was about to uh, kind of summarize this reading is I'm seeing two people here, Virgo. I'm seeing someone from the past who broke your heart. They want to come back. This person is realizing that you were the best person in their life. And they do want to come reach out. They want to come forward. For some of you, you might have already blocked this person. You just don't want to hear about them. But I'm getting here someone who will reach out. And I feel that there will be a moment that you will think about them and you will think about good times, but immediately you will find your, you know, in a Zen balance. And for some of you, you will reject this individual because of what they put you through here. I'm also seeing here Virgo, a new person, someone who is emotionally available, someone who will bring stability to your life and who will want to claim you, who will want to have a long term commitment happy a fulfilling relationship with you it might be a case for some of you that you've already met this person and and you dating them or you start dating them then that's then if that's the case this is someone who has uh, um who has a serious um how you say it um intentions that's right serious intentions they sees you as uh, 
wonderful material for a long-term commitment. If you haven't met this person already, soon you will meet them because you have four aces here, Virgo. This is a major fulfillment, happiness, joy. This is good luck. This is like winning jackpot, essentially. And you manifesting here divine, your divine counterpart, very strong soul connection. Therefore, with the lovers and with the chariot, you can expect to be at the end in a very, very happy relationship. You manifesting here your soulmate someone with whom you'll be able to build a very nice fulfilling relationship and it may end up at the end you marrying this person this new person but it's 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 also important to emphasize that this past person will at some point appear or they will try to reach out okay Virgo, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me and for your patience. <laughs> Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for being with me today and for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Virgo, have a wonderful, fabulous day. And once again, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.